Alright guys, welcome back, and in today's video, we're going to be making a loading screen. So, let's get into it. Alright guys, we're in the game. So now, let's, uh... Let's just first uh, click this over here, that doesn't really matter, and let's close off our 3D text. And also let's just close off our toolbox as well. So now let's create a GUI. So to do that, we're going to click on Starter GUI over here, and then we're going to click on the plus and click Screen GUI. Inside that, we're going to create a frame. So you guys can choose to scale that up if you want. If you don't want to, you don't have to, but this is preferable for me. So now inside the frame, you're going to want to add an image label. So what this is going to do, it's going to be like our main image screen, loading screen. Yeah, that we see when we load into the game. So first, we have to make sure that it fits like all sides. Hmm. So if you guys can't really like make it fit on all sides, then I recommend you guys just um, edit it to about... Let's look at its current size. 1170 time by 822. Alright, let's remember that. Let me just check back in. Alright, yeah. So now we're gonna go down into the size area over here and edit it to be about. Hmm. 1 200. And then this. This should be like maybe 900. Let's see if that fits. Hmm, it doesn't. Well, then I guess just scale it like that. That doesn't work. Also scale this part down here. Alright. Hmm. Let's also just move this over there. Yep. Alright, so now it fits our whole screen. Let's center it a bit like that. And now, let's open up our properties and explore again. Now, scroll down until you find this image. And now press backspace and click add image. I'll click choose file and I'm going to use this old file that I have. And you can choose to rename it if you want but we're not going to. That's only if you're, you're like going to change the image which we're not going to do. So we got this now and uh, let's just try and move it down a bit. Yeah. So we got that, and if we close off our explorer and properties tab, you can see it fits well. So now that we got that, you want to add one more thing. That's a text label. So what we want to make this do is uh, first let's make the background completely transparent by going to background transparency, changing that to one, and then after that, click enter, move it into like the middle center right here. Yeah, somewhere around here. And then now scroll down to size. I mean, sorry, text. So now click on mm, the label and let's name it to loading. Loading, let's put one dot there first. And then let's change the color of the text. Text color three to white. So it's a lot easier to see. Actually, let's make it like a gold color. So it goes along with the theme. So after that, let's change the size of the text to be about, let's just make it scaled. Yeah, text scaled over here. So what text scale does is that it will scale it to fit the text label uh, box. Change the font now to, um, I think, fundamental. Yeah, that looks nice. Right. So now that we got that, you guys can now close off this, close off your frame. And screen UI, but before you do that, make sure you click on your frame and click visible to false or just untick the box because otherwise, when we load into the game, it won't be visible to us. So, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a script, but we're going to add it in Replicate first. I'll explain why in a moment. Alright, so first, delete the hello world, and now let me explain why. So, we're adding our local script into Replicate first because. First off, there is a special function that we need to use which is only available in Replicator first. 
And another reason why we're using a local script is because, well, obviously, we don't want it to appear on other player's screen. So first, let's do the function I was talking about. So game the replicates first, not replicate storage replicate first. Hold on, remove default loading screen. So what this is going to do now is it's going to remove the loading screen that you would see when you load into the game. It won't completely remove it, but it will remove most of it, and it will make the loading a bit faster. The loading a bit faster, yeah. So now we're gonna create a few variables. Local screen UI equals to um, players. Oh, sorry. Game dot players dot local player. Hold on, wait for child player GUI. And then we're gonna do colon wait for child screen GUI. Alright, so now we got that. And then let's get the frames local frame equals to screen GUI dot frame local hmm, local image actually no we only need text so local text label equals to frame dot text label and we also need the image so local image equals to frame dot image label all right so now we got that now what we're gonna do is we want to sort of animate it okay so we're gonna animate it so like the text changes from one dot to two dots and three dots basically like loading one two three loading one two three i'll show you guys what i mean so we're gonna use a for loop so it doesn't like repeat forever so for and then we're gonna do i equals to i equals to we want it to start at zero and then go up and then the max number we want it to go up is to six and we want it to go up by one so zero starting number six ending number and one is the number that will add by so after that space do and enter all right so now once you got that we're gonna do something all right so text oops, sorry we're gonna do wait 0 0.2 seconds and then text label dot text equals to loading dot and now just copy and paste this wait 0 0.2 seconds again and then oh sorry guys yeah <clears throat> loading now add two dots in there and then finally three dots and one more wait at the end so what this is going to do it's going to make the text change so it's like loading and then changes to two dots and three dots like i mentioned just now so after that or well we have a few choices on what we want to happen so first we could just make the the gui disappear like just like kill it or destroy it or we can make it slowly disappear using transparency or we could animate it to move down so i'm gonna do the second one or the last one animate to move down so we're gonna do screen gui yeah frame on mean all right so here we're done there right let's just test the text first to see if it works all right we're loading into the game so as you can see it's going to remove the loading screen Oh, hmm. Let's check our output, guys. Hmm, everything seems fine. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, alright. Okay. So, we should make this visible. And just to make sure nothing happens that makes that invisible, we can do, um... <clears throat> local... Actually, no, let's just do frame dot visible equals to true so now let's test that again Put play and now we're loading into the game it should remove it right now let's get rid of that and as you can see our text is working it's looping it 
You guys can change the weight number if you want. So yeah, then stop there. <laughs> so now we're gonna just slowly make the the frame disappear. So let's go for let's just check to see that the frame has transparency. As far as I know, it does. So yeah. All right. Okay. So now for i equals to let's do it now. The number is 0 to 1, because 1 is the max transparency and 0 is the least. So 0, comma 1, and I guess we can make this pretty gradual, you know, 0 0.1. And then enter. So now, hmm, text label, actually no, image label, image dot transparency, transparency equals to Mm, 0. Point. Actually, yeah, equals to image dot transparency plus 0. 0.1. So it goes up by 0. 0.1 every time that loops. Let's just check the transparency on it again. Yeah, sorry, image transparency is what we want. Image transparency. There we go. Now we got it. So we got that. And let's put wait 0. 0.1 seconds. And then, same thing we're gonna do text label. Label dot transparency. Let's check what kind of transparency it is. Hmm. Okay. I think it should be text transparency. Yeah. Text transparency dot. Sorry, equals to text label dot text transparency. Plus one, plus zero point one. All right. <clears throat> so one more wait at the end. Then what we want to do is do screen GUI colon destroy. So let's test this. All right. So we're loading into the game now. Hmm. All right. It's so removing the loading screen and let's see. All right, so it's, we got the dots, all right. Mm hmm. Hmm. That's strange. Uh, are you kidding me? It's an E. The E. All right. This time, this time, it should work perfectly. Absolutely nothing should stop. Should stop this. All right. Okay. So we got that. We got our text. Repeat thing about six times. And now, as you can see, our image will go blank before it inevitably gets destroyed. So that one thing that you guys saw was really just the background transparency for this. You can set that to one. So yeah, that's yeah, that's one way you can get rid of it. There are other ways using the tweening service. Let me just try that real quick. So game dot screen starter GUI. Sorry, game dot starter GUI dot screen GUI <coughs> frame colon tween position. So what this is going to do? It's going to like make the thing go down or up or any way you want. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is basically delete this whole thing here actually not nah, just this part yeah so green gui dot frame colon tween position like that so uh let's just test that again to see what our options are because it'll be a lot easier if uh, roblox like uh gives it to us for us to like check yeah i'll show you guys what i mean all right so you guys want to paste this down here game dot screen gui oh sorry starter gui dot screen gui dot frame change position and now hmm now where should the end position be Mm, let's try Udem2. Hmm. Udem2. 
zero comma one comma one actually no zero comma zero comma zero like that I think that's how it be hmm. What's wrong with this? Hmm, okay, you didn't number, you didn't hmm. Where did you I should move to? Alright. So then now we're gonna choose the easing direction. So what this is gonna do the easing direction, it's going to um show us which direction it's going to go down in. So So you want it to go in out. Uh, this is gonna like uh, make it easier for it to move in and out. Yeah. Now let's go for the easing direction. So enum dot easing direction, or sorry, easing style. Hmm. Now there are a bunch here, and you guys can look this up on the Roblox uh, developer page area. And so you guys can go for there are a bunch here. But I think sign would be the best. So yeah, we got that. And mm, you know two. Hmm. You do two. Ah, sorry guys. Uh, the reason that you two has been working is because yeah, we forgot to put you two that new. All right, and I uh, just put in the same values: zero, one, zero, comma zero. Yeah. So now just copy this, actually, just copy the tween position part up to like about here and paste it right about here. Alright, <coughs> so now we got that and let's test it to see if it works. Alright, so we're now loading in to the game. And then first, of course, you know, it's going to remove the default loading screen as usual. And we have the dots and dots. Dots. Let's just check this. Hmm. That happened really fast. I think we need to put a weight in there. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Let's, just, let's check this. In position. Did we miss out the last one? Time! Yeah, we missed out the last one, guys. Sorry. Time. So, what time is going to do? It's going to, like, uh, show us until, like, how long it'll take for it to, uh, do the whole animation. For us, we're gonna put it as maybe 0. Point, let's just do it for 0. 0.3 seconds. And then over here, we're gonna do wait 0. 0.3. So, so it like waits before it destroys it. So yeah, let's test that once again. All right. So as you can see, you know, usual loading. And now, hmm, that was really far. Let's just check our output. Huh. I guess you can put it for longer if you want. But that's basically the concept of it. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.